Today we will be discussing the rise and fall of one of the greatest footballers of all time, Ronaldinho. From his humble beginnings in Brazil to his rise to stardom with Barcelona and the Brazilian national team, we'll explore his career and the reasons for his downfall. Ronaldinho, born Ronaldo do Assis Moreira, began his love for the game at a young age, playing with his brothers and friends in the streets of Porto Alegre, Brazil. His talent was evident from a young age, and he quickly rose through the ranks of local clubs. He joined the youth team at Grêmio, one of the most successful clubs in Brazil, and made his professional debut for the team in 1998. It wasn't long before Ronaldinho's impressive performances caught the attention of European clubs. In 2001, he was signed by Paris Saint-Germain. And although he had some good performances with the club, he struggled to adapt to the French league and the Parisian lifestyle. However, it was during his time at PSG that he caught the eye of Barcelona. In 2003, he joined the Catalan club and quickly established himself as one of the best players in the world. At Barcelona, Ronaldinho was a key player in the team that won two La Liga titles and the UEFA Champions League in 2006. He was also named FIFA World Player of the Year twice in 2004 and 2005. His performances on the field were matched by his charismatic personality off the field, which made him a fan favorite and a global icon. Ronaldinho's peak years were undoubted during his time at Barcelona. He was a magician on the field, known for his incredible dribbling skills, vision, and ability to score spectacular goals. He played a key role in the team's success, and his performances in the Champions League were particularly memorable. In the 2005-2006 season, he scored two goals in the final against Arsenal, including a spectacular free kick, helping Barcelona to lift the trophy for the second time in the club's history. After his success with Barcelona, Ronaldinho moved to AC Milan in 2008. Although he had some good performances with the club, his form began to decline. He struggled with injuries and his weight and was eventually released by Milan in 2011. Ronaldinho then returned to Brazil to play for Flamengo and Adeltico Mineiro, but his performances were not up to his usual standard. There are several reasons for Ronaldinho's fall from grace. One of the main reasons was his lifestyle off the field. He was known for his love of party and his lack of discipline, which affected his fitness and form. Additionally, his injuries began to take a toll on his body, and he was unable to maintain the same level of performance as before. Another factor that contributed to his downfall was his lack of motivation. After achieving so much success at such a young age, it's possible that Ronaldinho lost sight of his goals and became complacent. He was content with his achievements and may not have had the drive to continue pushing himself to reach new heights. After a short stint with Fluminense in Brazil, Ronaldinho officially retired from professional football in 2018. Although his career may have ended on a low note, his legacy as one of the greatest footballers of all time will live on forever. He was a true entertainer on the field, and his performances brought joy to millions of fans around the world. Consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. To go scores! Absolutely sensational! Spots Frenzy, the game is on.